Hi everybody, welcome to another update on the stock screener. Today we're going to do an MPV calculation on Orla Mining. Another suggestion and see if it's better than Soma Gold. I have never looked at Orla Mining yet, so let's do this together. I have the homepage. So first thing to do is look at the presentation so we know what what this company is about i see mexico usa and panama okay Pierre Lassonde. Then it looks like it's probably a good company. Low cost. So that's the first thing. We can use this 611 AIC. And production is 110,000. So we already have an EBITDA valuation. This is 1928. Valuation is production times gold price minus AISC times five in probably billions. Yeah, let's take millions. 700 million valuation. Yeah, it's already very overvalued, I think. But let's see what the fully diluted share count is. Oh, we have 2023 numbers. And now it's 700, 800. Yeah, that's that's worse. So was six one one, and now it's eight hundred. Same amount of production. So that's worse. This is exploration. All exploration. Oh, they only have one asset. 10 years, my life. Ten million ounce resource. That's a lot of resource.
production is coming down at some point take that into account that means the costs will go up Ninety million per year free cash flow. So that's at eighteen hundred gold. So let's say we have eighteen hundred gold. Then what's the EBITDA? The EBITDA is one hundred and ten million, right? One hundred and ten million EBITDA, and they say ninety million free cash flow, so twenty million capital, twenty million capital expenditures. We can already add that here twenty million. Apparently there is some upside. Not going to look into that. There's South Railroad as well. This one was Camino. So this one is one oh two one. Eight years. One five two. For years one to four. And one to four thousand average. Also a good project. We'll add another five hundred million to it. So one billion worth initial capex one hundred and ninety one point six million ounces gold. Okay, anything else? So 
So this is, yeah, this is long term. Probably 2027. Oh, another one. Cero Quema. How many of these do they still have? Eighty thousand six two six. Another good asset. Yeah, it's only seven years. So this adds another 500 million. So actually, if you add everything up, then we already are at the market cap. So not bad with all these projects. So yeah, we have all three producing and in, in the future. So three mines, okay, fully diluted three for seven million. So the market cap is five point seven seven divided by one point three two CAD times share count divided by million. So one point five billion. market cap yeah valuation only for the producing asset it's overvalued but we still have two other projects but i can't count this in because it's not in production yet Yeah, a difficult company to evaluate. So this is evaluation for 2023. I could add valuation for two thousand twenty seven is this plus production times gold price minus AISC times five Then we have one billion. That's better. And let's not add this one because it's too far away. So I still think this is overvalued. Market cap, 1.5 billion. Okay, let's do the NPV calculation then. Uh, 
let's look at the balance sheet. What's the net debt? We have 28 million CAD. Minus 10 is 18 million CAD. Oh, this is Canada land. What the hell? This is the right one. So we have 120 million US dollars. Minus 70, that's 50. Then we have a lot of debt. Why do they have that much debt? So minus 100 is minus 50 million. Minus 50 million debt. Not sure why they have that much debt. So the enterprise value is one point five billion plus the fifty, so one five seventy. So let's say one point five seventy billion. Right? Oh, that's around this number. Okay, let's take a look at this calculation. Production ounces. We start at 110,000. And this will continue until 2027, where they will add 124,000. like this. So these are rough estimates. All in sustaining costs, 800. Until here. And going to, yeah, we need to calculate the all in sustained costs is production times cost plus production times cost divided by total production. is 917. So 917 will be this cost. So the cost will go up. Gold price is conservative. Capex was already 20 million, we know that. But there will be additional capex to build this 190. That will be somewhere here. 
let's say they need two years. 190 divided by two. All right. Interest payments. Interest expense is three million per quarter. So let's say fifteen million. That's pretty yeah, pretty high compared to the capex. Tax rate, yeah, typically it's around 30%. Just take this. Net income is around 50 million. Yeah, that's correct. It's around 15 million. 50 million, yeah. Amazing. So 50 million net income per year and you have a market cap of 1.5 billion. That's overvalued. So interest 15 million. Don't forget they will have capex expenses here to build it. And they need to find $190 million. I expect them to do some project financing, maybe half, $100 million. So probably another, another $15 million in interest. So that's times two. See, it's not that easy to build things. Huh? And then they will have a lot of cash flow. So here they could pay it off a bit. 25 maybe. 15 and then 10, 5, yeah, that's plenty of cash flow to pay that all off, 0. So first they have 50 million net income and then this will rise very fast because of the high production here doubling production somewhere in 2027 so yeah it's it's only in 2027 you saw it here consultation until 2024 and then engineering and then construction two years probably so Production is only going to be in 2027. But production will double. All right. So that means the earnings double. Yeah, it's even more than double. 110 to 234. Right.
So the costs also double, but this also doubles. So income is very high. So I think we're done. We have all the numbers. Just need to create the chart. We already have the chart. And the axis should be let's say two. Or 1.6 so we have the enterprise value of 1.6 that's somewhere here and these are the cash flows coming in it will head to 500 million in 10 years so this is completely overvalued and this is only eight years my life ten years my life so seven years my life how are they going to keep producing this after these ten years with an enterprise value of 1.5 billion this is completely overvalued See, the production is going down. Same with the other asset. South Railroad also coming down. This is not a good mine. It's dropping in production. And this one is yeah, it's about a bit clumsy here. But you get the drift, these are not. Well, I get it. There can be a lot of growth because they have 10 million ounces and they only produce 100,000. So there's plenty of growth possible in the future. But when we look at the data right now, this is the cash flow and it's overvalued. Yeah. And this last one, yeah, that's also a very good mine, very low cost. But look at the production that's also going to come down. So it has great assets, but I think it's overvalued. You need to wait a long time to get your money back. A very long time. So yeah, that's Orla Mining. Now compare this with Soma Gold. Here you have a 70 million enterprise value, you get your money in two years back. In just two years. 
much better, much more undervalued than Orla Mining, where you will need to wait 20 years to get your money back. Right? So, that was the video, and I'll see you in the next one.